Hi, I'm Ganendi. Um, child sexual abuse and incest are a universal issue that affect all of us. Uh, my book, which is called The Price of Truth, is a memoir about my story of growing up in an ultra-Orthodox family and being molested by my father and my grandfather. It's not an easy story, it's not an easy topic, but it's an important one, and it's one that we all need to address in order to change and to heal as individuals, as families, and as a community. Um, I actually um, began talking about what happened to me when I was about 18, 19 years old, about 25 years ago, and I was told by my family, by my mother, by my community, and by the rabbis in my community that nothing happened, that I wasn't abused, and that I was crazy. And when it became known that my father, who was the principal of an elementary school until last year, was abusing other children, um, I was told by my family that unless I agreed never to speak about it publicly, um, they would cut me out of the family. And that has been the price of truth for me. I've lost my entire family. My mother has never met my children, one of who's almost 18. My, um, my siblings did not invite me to their weddings. Um, they really tried everything they could to shut me down and silence me. And I refused to participate. I said, not only am I not going to be quiet, I'm going to publish a book. And I'm going, if you won't listen to me, then I'll make sure that other people do. And that's exactly what I did. And um, thank God, through a lot of prayer, a lot of good therapy, a, lot, a, a wonderful husband and support system, I've been able to not only heal um, from my experiences, but I've been able to help um, other women and men who have been through childhood sexual abuse. Um, and uh, I think that my story is relatable to people not only have been through childhood sexual abuse, but people who are struggling with the Jewish identity, um, and people who've been through any kind of um, complex trauma or developmental trauma. Thank you for listening, and I hope to meet you, and I hope you'll read my book.